So right now, so what I'm going to do <clears throat> is read the statement that I prepared, and I'm trying to keep it at two minutes too, because I gave y'all two minutes, so I want to like be um, fair in the time that I give um, a statement based on based on where we are. Um, my heart is pounding right now. I'm also very emotional. I'm gonna try to stick to the what I wrote. So I just wanna thank you all for being here. I we appreciate your comments, your concerns, your thoughts. We have been. We respect your opinions and know that we are listening to you. We're listening to what's being said, and we hope to use this information so that we can move forward in developing ways to build, to build with you all. So I speak on behalf of the board here to express a deep level of respect that we have for each and every one of you in this room this evening. We're glad that your voices are being heard today as we continue our journey to build a school <coughs> dedicated to equity, to diversity, and to experiential learning. I will stop by providing a little information about if this button works, which is not working. <laughs> Um, a little information about um, the school. The Ogari School um, has been granted preliminary approval by the Rhode Island State Council on Elementary and Secondary Education to open and operate a K through 12, K through 8, sorry, public charter school beginning in 2019. Our mission is to provide K through 8 students with interdisciplinary, personalized, authentic learning experiences that are culturally responsive and promote social equity and environmental sustainability. All students will, will meet rigorous academic standards and become creative critical thinkers, engaged citizens, and responsible stewards of their environment. If you want to read this, I put it up here so you could kind of like read while, I'm, while you listen to me speak. As an immigrant from El Salvador, who grew up most of my life on Superior Street first and then on Chapman Street in the West End where my dad still lives, I wasn't afforded many opportunities and my community lacked many resources. However, I understood the importance and power of a community. West End was the support system for me. I attended John Hope one uh, summer for camp and also during my high school years, as I mentioned before, I'd go play ball down there. Yeah, I did play ball, it was pretty good too. So trust me when I say that I do value your devotion and love for this community because I too share memories in that neighborhood and in that space. This is exactly why our board presented John Hope the idea to open a school. We felt a deep sense of commitment to contributing to such an important and historical site in the West End. We envision students from the neighborhood and other um, surrounding zip codes coming together to learn in a space with such rich culture and heritage. Our school is committed to preserving the culture and heritage of John Hope Settlement House. And we believe <coughs> our plan in collaboration with the board is a major stepping stone to building the organization that has a 90 year legacy of serving black and brown youth, including myself and my family. Given my position today, because yeah, I'm in a different place today. I acknowledge my power and I acknowledge my privilege. And I want to dedicate the access that I have to resources today to support going back and building in my community. We are encouraged by the passion yeah, yeah. of you all and we want to collaborate to input strategies that anchor people in the neighborhood and benefit from the resources our school will bring. These are the resources that we're trying to bring. We're not, no program will stop. This is not, that is not ex uh, our intention. They will, your children will continue to go there. That we are not, that is not who we are. Rent will generate at least and significantly, significantly more than 125,000 a year. Investment to the building will be made to build it, to revitalize a certain side of the building, which I'll go into the area that we plan to use. Specifically, we also wish to share that we are renting approximately 5,478 square feet in the space, which is currently unused. 
with the total John Hope building constitu constituting 40,584 square feet. The total space that Wangari will use is less than 14% of John Hope. It's about 13.5%. Further, the daycare and the programs and services at John Hope will not be affected or changed and will be respected and supported by us. We understand that people from this community, and I emphasize from this community, have been at the whim of political and economic agendas that have led to the disbursement, disvestment, I'm sorry, in their communities for decades. We want to be part of building the community that I come from. And I ask this community to join us in building a strong institution for our kids. All right. That's our statement. And so what we'll do is we will not, um, like I mentioned earlier, we'll not um, answer any, any questions individually. What I will say is that we do plan to have a community, community forum. After the decision is And done. then um, I will not direct your comments. And we're going to move on to the next part of the um, agenda.